I've been busy testing out the brand new Boss Cube Street 2. Evolved from the best-selling Rolling Cube Street and newly rebranded with the Boss name, this battery-driven speaker solution provides a rich stereo sound for busking and other mobile gigs. At launch, the Boss Cube Street 2 will cost £299. Inside of the box, you get the Cube Street 2, a power supply, and an aux cable for connecting a mobile device. However, unlike with the Boss RC500 loop station, no batteries are included with this Boss product. Although you can can use the Boss Cube Street 2 with a power supply, this device really shines outside. Using 8 AA batteries, you can power the Cube Street 2 anywhere, and the integrated mixer and controls built into the 10 watt speaker cabinet provides a light and loud solution that couldn't be easier to transport. For connections, we have a microphone slash instrument combo jack, a single jack input, aux in, line out, and a headphone out which disables the output from the main speakers for silent practicing. There are also two foot switch connections for connecting two Boss FS6s or FS7s to control the onboard effects and built-in 45 second looper. If you want to learn more about the differences between the FS6 and FS7 foot switches, you can check out this video over here. Being a loop pedal enthusiast, I had a lot of fun with the single track stereo looper and was impressed with its audio quality even when overdubbing many layers. Surprisingly, 45 seconds is a long time, but if that is not enough, you can change this setting in the Cube Street app, letting you turn it from a 45 second stereo looper to a 90 second mono looper. At the rear of the speaker, you have controls for all of the mentioned connections, such as volume, and EQ parameters, controls for various effects options like the built-in reverb, vocal harmonizer, delay and chorus. Now to my surprise, the built-in effects actually sound pretty good. You've got your built-in reverb, which sounds pretty natural. You can also adjust this within the app to plate reverbs, hall reverbs, to change the tonality. You've got the built-in harmonizer, which is pretty useful for vocalists. Now, this has a two different modes. You can either have it in auto track mode, where it basically guesses what key you're singing, depending on basically what you're playing and singing at the moment into the speaker. And then there's also one where you can predetermine the actual key. So if you're singing in E minor, you can head into the app and go, right, the harmonizer will be set to E minor, etc., A major, wh whatever key you're singing in. So oh, it, it actually, actually sounds, sounds pretty, pretty good. good. Right now it's set to auto mode, so, so we've, we've just got, got this right, right now in unison, unison so it's just basically echoing what we're saying, but, but if, if we, we were to sing like, whoa, 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 and then put it up into higher, whoa, 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 it's going to do that sort of higher octave that you'll hear there, and then we've got the other one here, so we could have got even higher, so whoa, 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 so if you tune this in and you're actually singing a song properly, where you've got some proper notes that you're singing away to with the keyboard or your guitar, it actually sounds pretty cool. And you can turn this on and off with the external foot switches. So it's not going to be on 24 seven. You can just bring it in for the chorus, take it out for the verse, whatever it is you need to do. You can set up the Cube Street 2 in two different modes, Max and Eco. This will affect the speaker output and will either decrease or increase your expected battery depending on the chosen mode. Max sets the stereo speaker to 10 watt and Eco is 5 watt for preserving battery life. Additionally, a built-in tuner is provided, which is handy if you forget your clip-on tuner. Something else that's pretty cool are the audio interface recording capabilities. You can connect your Boss Cube Street 2 to your laptop via a USB type B cable. And on my MacBook, it was automatically detected without having to download any additional drivers, letting me instantly begin capturing my performance. You can access additional options to customize the Cube Street 2 inside of the Boss Cube Street Editor app. Inside here, using your iOS or Android device, you can unlock greater details and settings. However, this does require the additional Bluetooth adapter, which costs £44. I personally think that this should already be included with the Cube Street 2. You're spending £299, and in order to get the full value out of what you've purchased, you require this adapter. It gives you full control over the effects, such as the delay type, length, tap tempo, greater detail over the vocal harmonies, and so much more. The Cube Street Editor app lets you customize your commands for external foot switches, create live sets to recall presets for songs, wireless control of EQ and volume settings, 
it's very expensive. My favorite feature is Bluetooth audio. You can stream music from your phone wirelessly, suddenly transforming your portable gigging speaker into the perfect garden party sound system. Overall, I think the Boss Cube Street 2 brings a much needed update and refresh to the Roland Cube Street. With new exciting features for users to explore and spark new creative ideas, I can easily see myself using this speaker at smaller events such as garden parties and even some wedding receptions for smaller acoustic shows. And when combined with the Boss RC500, which is also battery operated, performing my live set is now possible literally anywhere.